Hi everyone, it's me, Luna. I'm back with another video. Woo! We're happy that we finally hit over 300 subscribers. Hit it just a couple days ago. We're really excited. Welcome to the channel. If you're here, my name's Luna Soul. Like I said, I'm one half of Trash Pop, a drag queen pop duo that do videos here on YouTube as well as make music. We're not very good at it, but we don't let that stop us. Just like it shouldn't stop you from achieving your dreams. Hi, this is the video. I'm your life coach. Okay. <laughs> no, no one needs me as a life coach. I can barely function in my own life. <laughs> Alright, so for today's video, I'm going to be doing a little palette review. I haven't done one of these in a while. But uh, I got one of these palettes from ColourPop, Fade into Hue. Got it last week. It's a nice little rainbow palette for Pride Month. Woo! Happy Pride! So we're gonna do a little look with it today. I'll have some swatches, we'll have a good time, and I'll tell you why I was gone for a week, maybe. Who knows? Maybe I won't. Stay tuned to find out. <laughs> All right, I'm gonna put my hair up, and we're gonna bring it a little closer, and we're gonna get started on my eyes, because I do my eyes first with my makeup. So I'll be right back. All right, now that you're back in a little bit closer, let's go over this palette a little bit. So, like I said, it's a rainbow palette. You got your reds, orange, yellow, green, blues, and purples. Looks like we got some mattes, we got some shimmers, we got some metallics. Looks like we have some pressed glitters, which I'm gonna probably stay away from. They are god awful to work with, and I do not feel like it today. My arm is already tore up from doing a bunch of swatches. That's another thing, I will not be swatching these live. You will have swatches somewhere around here. We're gonna go over that now. Starting with the reds, we have going from top to bottom, Fantasyland, Lovecraft, Prismatic, Atelier, 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 God, I can't speak. And then the bottom one is Paradise. Next, we have our orange shades, ooh. We have Treasure, So Precious, Art Deco, Retro Dream, Love Plus Warhol. And then we have our Yellows, Lucky Charm, Big Smile, Shine Bright, Bonus Points, and Abstract. All right, and for our greens, we have Designer at the top, then Pose, Dyed Up, Coat, Bold Type, Getting makeup all over this table. All right. And then for our blues, we have Take It Easel. Oh, like pun there. <laughs> then we have Kaleidoscope. Hot Copic. I think that's how you say that. Watermark. And then Iconic. Just like my life, Iconic. I'm not iconic at all. And then for our last, we have our purples. We have Express, Selfie, Majestic, Nouveau, and Zygist. Zygist? Did I say that right? Who cares? It's my video. I'll cut it out if it's wrong. And that's the palette. So I'm excited to see what to do with this. I'm thinking I might try to use as much as I can. I'm not gonna go too crazy because I don't want this to be a bad look. But I think I'm gonna try and use all the mattes for a little pride look. We're gonna see how it works. This could be a disaster. Could probably be my fault. Wouldn't be surprised. All right, so let me prime my eyes and we'll jump right in. All right, we're all primed and we're gonna Dive on in as soon as I clean some of my brushes.
All right, to start our eye, we're gonna start with this yellow shade right here, abstract. Let's see how this one does. I'm gonna try and do a nice little pride look for Pride Month. We're gonna see how it turns out. I have not tested this yet. Oh wow, a lot of pigment in this yellow. I'm really surprised. Some yellows don't really pop and this one actually pops really well. I'm genuinely impressed. Wow. Wow. Next we're gonna dive into Love and Warhol, which is a nice orangey shade. And we're gonna put that at the center, right next to that yellow. I'm gonna try and buff it in nicely. really pretty orange. There's a lot of fallout. I feel like there's more going on my brush than, there's more going in the pan than on my brush. But it's still a pretty good payout. They nice, it looks like they build really nicely. They blend nicely together. I'm gonna use a separate brush. I'm gonna blend those two together. A nice little seamless transition and then we're gonna go on to our nice pretty red called paradise go put that on the outside have a nice little look going depending on the brush it depends on what kind of pickup you're gonna get overall lots of fallout in my on my pants if you're not into fallout I would not recommend this palette I don't care about fallout Especially on a palette like this, it's just not a lot of money. If it was an expensive palette, I don't want to follow. Thanks, giving me a headache. Woo. Oops. All right, I'm gonna clean this brush off and then I'm gonna blend those two together. And I'm gonna blend them all nice. My biggest thing that I can ever tell you in your eyeshadow is blend, 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 blend. When you think you've blended it enough, blend it one more time, because you probably didn't. Blending slowly my red into my orange, keeping them nice and seamless. That's my hand, and then I'm gonna do the same thing all the way across. We're gonna get a nice blend on us. There we go, all right. So far, loving the colors. They look great, they're popping. Mwah, loving this look. Now we're gonna start with the other side and we're gonna get those colors on. We're gonna do green, blue, and purple on the other eye. Going along with our pride look, cause it's pride. Be happy, be gay. LGBTQ+, where we at, hit those comments. I'm always happy to be talking to members of my community. Hit me up down below. Tell me why you're happy this Pride season. I'll tell you why I'm happy. I'm happy that I have a boyfriend that loves me, will take care of me, and puts me as number one in their life. That's what I'm happy about this Pride. What are you? All right, now let's dive into that green called Bold Type. We're gonna put that in the front and work our way back, going from green to purple. See how this one turns out. It looks good on this one, but let's see. I really like the look of this green. I'm hoping that it pops just like it did in the swatch. Let's get it on my brush. Hmm. A lot more going everywhere else, but on my brush. I don't like the sign of that. Ooh. Wow. All right. Let's see. I'm not hopeful. Not happy with this one. It's not going on. I took some coke thing, but I got it. This is not the best green I've ever used. Yeah, I'm not liking that at all. We'll see how I feel about the next one. That took a lot to get to there. Let's go on to the blue, which is iconic. This one's definitely picking up so much better. I don't know what, maybe it was the brush. I'm gonna have to go try, but damn. That was, that made me work for it. All 
red, and then we're gonna add our purple in. All right, uh, so, so far, so much fall out of the pan. But I like the lighter shades more than the darker shades. These dark mattes aren't going on as well as I would like. They were a little bit of a struggle, but they look good. They don't they didn't blend as nicely as the other ones though. So now I'm gonna do my lids. I have not decided what color I'm gonna do yet. No look good on this eye. We're gonna do nice gold on this eye. That picked up nice. Alright, we're gonna put some gold right on our lid. A really pretty eye. Now I don't know what I'm gonna do. I really want to try this one that's like nice lavender express. I want to try that. It's a nice like lavender uh, metallic. I really want to try it. So we're gonna try it. Ooh, I really like that lavender. Oh, it's really pretty. Ooh, I've not actually seen a shade like this before. All right, I really like this so far. This palette's really fun. We're gonna do, we're gonna do, eh, we're gonna do one press glitter. Fuck it, I'm gonna do it. We're gonna do the yellow one on this eye. That's it. I'm not gonna do another one. <laughs> Stuff's horrible to work with. Ooh, that's gorgeous. Let's not prag without some glitter. Am I right? Hmm. I'm gonna put a little bit on the other one, just a little bit. I wanna try this blue one. I'm just afraid it's not gonna look as good on top of this lavender. We're gonna see though. Hmm, that one did not wanna go on top of that lavender. It is all over my face. Well, damn. That's unfortunate. All right, there we go. Boom, all right, I'm gonna finish my makeup off of camera. We'll have a full look, and I'll give you my final thoughts on everything here. I'll be right back. All right, so here's the final look with a wig and a dress on. I really like this look. It's really cute. I really like the shadows. I think they, they go really well together. Uh, my opinion on the palette, I think it's a good deal. It's a good buy. Uh, it has a lot of colors in here that I think I'm going to use in other ways with other things. There's a lot of mattes. There's a lot of shimmers in here that I want to try. Um, my biggest thing was that the, the matte uh, darker shades, the green, the blue, and the purple that I used on this eye were harder to work with. They weren't as smooth and as easy as my lighter shades. Uh, in all, I still really like this palette. I really recommend it. It's a really good pride palette. I don't think it was intentionally released for Pride, but definitely worked out for me. Check me out all month wearing this palette. So in all, I really like the palette. I really like the colors. The pressed glitters are great. Uh, they don't stick, like uh, the blue did not stick that well to like the lavender shimmer or metallic. Just so be careful. Some things don't like to play well with each other. But in all, really good palette. Worth the money, I would get it. Luna Soul approved. All right, and with that, I'm Luna Soul, and Trash Pop's gonna make the world pop.